Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT. Now it's just like any other oil change you've ever done on any other piece of equipment, with one small exception. If you have a DCT transmission, it has a cartridge style filter that should be changed every time that you change the oil. Um, I'll show you where that's located. And it also has three separate drain plugs that you would want to remove and let it drain completely. Uh, as a basic rule of thumb, you'd want to run the engine, get it warm, let it let all the oil get thin, bring it back, set it, let it cool just a little bit so you don't burn yourself on the on the exhaust, and then start your oil change. I'll show you all the tools that you're going to need, which is just a few. You need two sockets, an eight millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, a ratchet, a retractable magnetic tool retriever is handy, an oil filter wrench, or I'll also show you a, uh, a workaround in the event that you don't have the oil filter wrench, because it really, you have to have an oil filter wrench for this bike. Um, I've got all the part numbers, and I'll show you close-ups of, of all those part numbers. This is the oil filter, this is the DCT filter, and this is the O-ring for the cap that holds the DC filter in the engine. Um, and those are, of course, all available at your local Honda shop. I use genuine Honda oil. I know there's a wide debate on what to use, but I use the Honda GN4 10W40. It takes 4.9 quarts to do the complete oil change. And it's as simple as that. It takes 15, 20 minutes, and you're done. So we do it every 5,000 miles just to make it easy to do. That's a lot uh, closer service interval intervals than the owner's manual suggests, but it's a good peace of mind. So we'll go through it and show you where everything's located. This is the part number for your O-ring for the DCT filter cover. This is your DCT oil filter, and this is your engine oil filter. For your tools, you're going to want to ratchet with an extension and a couple of sockets. You will need a 12 millimeter socket and you will also need an 8 millimeter socket. An extension is always a good idea. Okay, so we're underneath the motorcycle. This is the left hand side of the motorcycle. Of course, your oil filter is here. Just behind the oil filter, and this is at the front of the engine, just behind the oil filter. There's one drain plug on the side of the engine. Just behind it, towards the center of the engine, is the second drain plug. And the third drain plug is located to directly back to the rear of the engine, also on the bottom. To the left of it is the DCT filter, which is a cartridge style filter. It has two 8 millimeter bolts, as opposed to all the 12 millimeter drain plugs. That cover comes off. And you'll to give you access to the cartridge style filter for the DCT. So it's a 12 millimeter bolt on each of the three drain plugs. There's one on the side, one on the bottom, directly behind the one on the side, and one to the rear of the case inboard of the DCT filter. Let's start with the one on the side. Break it loose with a ratchet. Naturally, you're gonna get it all over you because it's an oil change. No problem. <clears throat> Each one of the drain plugs has an aluminum crush washer. This crush washer should be replaced each time you do an oil change. There's three drain plugs. Make sure you get three new crush washers.
Oil changes, of course, are best performed on a warm engine. I suggest taking your bike out for a short ride before putting it on the lift and starting the oil change procedure. Just to get everything drained down. Of course, let it cool down enough to where it's not going to burn you as you're starting the process. So we'll let that drain for a while and we'll get back to you. Now it's time to remove the oil filter. Now, as you can see, the way the oil filter is situated, it's shrouded and protected on uh, basically over half the oil filter by the engine case. So it's impossible to get a normal filter wrench onto the oil filter. So they make a cup style filter wrench that goes onto the bottom of the filter, attaches your socket wrench. In the event that you don't pick one of those up, as you should, but you still wanna get your oil changed, you can improvise. I took a box end wrench with a piece of a strap, simply run it through the end of the box end wrench, twist it up around the filter, put another wrench on it, and made a basically a strap wrench out of a piece of an old strap and a box end wrench. Works the treat. The oil filter, of course, is full of oil. So be prepared to get oily. Just let it drain into your pan. Just like that. And last but not least, your DC, if you have a DCT transmission, there is a cartridge style filter compartment located to the rear of the engine. There's two eight millimeter bolts holding the cover onto the engine block. Remove those two eight millimeter bolts, eight millimeter bolts. Don't drop them into your oil. And the cover will stay in place until you pry it out. There is a O-ring holding the cover into the engine block. So it won't just fall out on you, but take that cover off and remove that filter. It's a cartridge style filter. inside the engine. I'll bring you in closer where you can see. Oh, where am I at? So that's the cover right here. You pull this bolt out and the bolt to the rear and you'll have to pry this cover loose. And then of course it'll, if you're not careful, it'll fall right into your oil pan like mine just did. There's also a spring that is located in the center of the cartridge filter. So you'll make sure that you keep tabs on it When you replace the, the cap, make sure you replace the O-ring, that you have the, the spring that retains the repressor on the filter back on the cap. 
just like that. And once you get your oil filter back on and your oil drain plugs back in, of course, this is a location for you to refill your oil. Small funnel gets right in there. I'm not going to bore you with pouring five quarts of oil, 4.9 quarts of oil into an engine, but uh, that's what's next. Here are the owner's manual instructions if you are so inclined to read the instruction book. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you found this very helpful, please like, share, subscribe to the page, and uh, we will continue putting out content for you as we come across it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.